Hi, so this is going to be a lesson on Robert Wilkins' version of Rolling Stone. It's pretty unrelated from Muddy Waters or other people's version of Rolling Stone, but yeah, it's a great, it's a great version. It's in standard tuning, but you'll actually bring your tuning down by by quite a bit so that your bottom string will be a C and then I believe it'll be an F here and then a B flat here and then an E flat here and then let's see a G here and then a C and I'll go through the song once I'll try to go through it as best as I can, and then get into the lesson after that. So, I'll break it up into, I think, three different sections, because there's number one, this vamp that it'll do. And then there's this move that it'll do. And then there's this move that it'll do, uh, which is kind of a, an alternate version of that low version. So really, throughout, and then what, what you'll do is actually just combine this, so you'll have this bass. And then a slight transition to kind of bring the two, as, bring the two bricks together. So you'll hear again. There's that transition. And then this is the first lick. And then he plays the second lick, so he uses that same bass. Transitions. And then here's the second lick. playing the back to the first lick. So it'll just go back and forth between the the version with the bass notes. And then the version with the treble notes. So in that way it's actually a very it's kind of easier to wrap your head around. And so starting with that sort of vamp riff that he'll play here. It's pretty much like this. You'll have your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and then you'll trill the first fret of the third string. And that's what's going on on the treble side of the left or fretting hand, and then on the strumming hand, plucking hand, you'll just pluck down from the fourth string kind of grab it kind of fat and then you can trill that note and then you can sweep up on the top string so you got this
down and then sweep up on the top string and then you'll hit the second fret of the fifth string and then very similar to that thing before what instead though what you'll do is after the second fret of the fifth string hammer into the second fret of the fourth string and then sweep up and do another trill. Or, I guess what I was doing is coming down with the thumb and then finishing up with the top strings. And then top. But that's really the riff, so again, that's And, yeah, basically for that sort of part one foundational block, he'll just play that twice. I keep missing the hammer. And so that's really it. He'll just kind of play it twice. So now, Getting into that transition, this is what, this is how it works, and then, and then, uh, how it lines up can cover that right after. So, uh, the transition is actually pretty simple. It's just a little bit. The rhythm is kind of weird. So then you'll just sweep up on the top strings. Uh, so let's say you'll, you did that riff twice. And then you go up, uh, sweep up, bottom string, and while holding down the first fret of the third string, second fret of the fourth string, sweep up on the treble side, bass side, and then from that second, from this sort of position, you can fret, say, the 2nd fret of the 5th string, and then slide up to the 7th fret. Or from wherever, where you start the slide. Doesn't really matter. So that's really it. So you got this bass, and now we'll cover basically that first sort of block that he plays. And yeah, so now getting into this part, it's pretty straightforward actually. You've slid in that seventh fret of the fifth string on the fifth seventh fret of the fifth string, and then you'll go up to the fifth fret of the fourth string. And you can give it a slight sort of bend. And then you'll go up to the eighth fret of the fourth string. And that's pretty much it. You can just come back down. And that's the first block. So again, all together now. That's really the first half of the song. Then, the second half comes a little bit quicker because you still use that same bass in the same transition.
So, using that same bass... And then that same transition. So, sweep up on that chord, bottom string open, sweep up again. And now, getting into the second block's sort of differences, it's this treble side lick. So, slight bend on the 3rd fret of the top string. And then, slight bend on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. And then, you'll play the 5th string 2nd fret. And then the bottom string open. For some reason, when I think of this rhythm almost like a dolphin bobbing out of the water and then going back in. That's sort of the rhythm. And then he'll come back up to these top two strings and go 3rd fret of the 2nd string to the top string open. Then the 3rd fret of the top string bends up about a half step and hits the top string open. And that kind of has a cool sound because he uses the minor third. That's what makes everything sound all... But then he'll go up to the fourth fret to the major third. So he'll go... But it just has a sort of eerier sound, because you don't usually hear that. People usually go like... But then he's going... So it sort of has this sort of different thing going on. But all together, that second block is the riff. This part is, was a little bit hard for me to know what the rhythm was coming out of it. And what I think I've con what I think works is to go like this. One. So you you just hit that. Fit that one in there and then you come in on the upbeat. One. One. So that's really it. And then he'll go right back into the riff. alternates between the two blocks, so he's back to the first one on the bass side. Transition, second block. That's really the entire song. It just goes sort of back and forth. So hopefully that helps with Robert Wilkins' version of Rolling Stone. Really great song. Thanks for watching.